hello guys welcome to yaki studios in this video i'm gonna showcase easy voxels the cubic version let's jump into it with version 2.0 easy voxels it's a component a mesh component which inherits from procedural mesh component you can set up a lot of things here these are the common settings units resolution chunk radius if the geometry is gonna be inverted or not greedy meshing greedy meshing merges the faces of a cube if they have the same material this is the chunk slot this is used only when using a chunk system like a landscape or terrain that you're gonna split uh, between multiple uh, components you can use a debug color which will give each face a random color and this is update interval as you can see it limits how often the component is trying to update its level of detail let's jump into level of detail you can use an automatic level of detail which we are going to use in this clip we can set up a max level of detail, maximum level of detail. I'm going to set up the three. And let's see how this works. Let's simulate. If we go back, you see the geometry gets simplified. If we go back even further, the geometry gets again simplified. This is nice. Let's stop this. now let's see how the density data gets built with 2.0 version we have construct density point this function gets called from c++ uh, within cubic algorithm this is a constant function this means you cannot change variables outside of it you can only read not write this is to avoid any race condition, any threading issue that may occur if uh, you write to a variable at the same time from mul multiple threads. In this example, we're using just a sphere. I'm going to call it a steroid, but it's just a sphere basically. This is a chunk chunked terrain for cubic algorithm for easy voxel the cubic version we have a voxel manager for this example which will spawn the chunks let me these are all helper function functions we spawn we spawn a chunk every frame so we don't uh, clog the game when uh, we have to spawn thousands of chunks the chunk demo works very much like the asteroid demo except we have some settings here we have to account for the chunk chunk radius it's 10 on each axis x y z this means we will spawn 1000 chunks we're using ready meshing for optimization we can set up here whatever maximum load level of detail we want so we don't uh, overload the screen with the uh, unnecessary geometry we're gonna keep the update interval at half a second so let's see how this works As you can see, where the camera is placed, the geometry is very dense. If it goes further, the geometry gets simplified. If we move around, this is handled automatically by the plugin. You don't have to worry about it.
well this is it this is my first video I'm talking in I hope you can understand what I'm saying my accent it's kind of raw but hope you get it see you in the next video bye